Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So it has been some time since my last video. I used this uh, pick and place machine to place uh, several boards, uh, but then um, I found there are some improvement which is required. Um, so last time I also has one bearing here. Uh, the problem is that with this uh, bearing, when this stable motor is moving, the, the position will change a little bit. Uh, but because this is longer until the nozzle tip, therefore a small change here will result in the bigger change in this side. Therefore the um, accuracy is not good enough, the consistency is also um, not good enough. Therefore I introduced the second uh, bearing here. Then when this part is moving, uh, it, the movement will still be regulated by the uh, second bearing here and then it will be much uh, stable. So um, now I have more consistent um, placement uh, for this uh, O2O1 component, uh, which improves the accuracy, also makes it um, um, higher quality to place um, the components. And then the second change is um, I also introduced the, the spring here. Um, the reason is that sometimes if um, the board has different height or the component has a little bit different height, then with this uh, spring, it's able to uh, move up and down. So it will be easier for the settings uh, also um, to cope with the different heights of, of the setting of the components. So, which is uh, which is also good. Okay, so this is uh, how I am gonna um, apply the solder paste on top of the PCB. So I have all the the stands out when I'm making the PCB. You can see this one is big because I make it as a, the panel one, but I don't um, for now make uh, a lot of them. So I only make one of them. Um, therefore, I also need to have um, a tape basically to tape it to the correct position and then apply the solder paste. And I, I have this uh, uh, small tool uh, to help me um, just move or move the uh, solder paste. And then I also order this uh, lower temperature uh, solder paste um, left free. So it's easier to, um, let's say, uh, do the reflow. So now I'm gonna start and uh, put in the solder paste. First, I need to um, align align the PCB to the stencil. Okay, so now it's it's good. And in the back side, you can see I had taped it like this. Okay, so I'm gonna apply. But before applying, I when putting onto the table, I still need to make sure the position is uh, still maintained. Yeah, as you can see here, this is the um, solder paste. Um, usually, I use um, not too, um, you know, like uh, not, not too thick or not too solid or or, or not too like a fluid type, fluid like. So uh, this one is is good enough for me. So okay, so I just get the solder paste. And let me see. I confirm again if the position is correct. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can see especially in here, 
this is uh, very critical that um, it's uh, apply evenly on the um, um, on the chip in this 0.2 uh, millimeter pin. Okay. So uh, after applying the solder paste, I now um, will put the PCB onto the device on, onto the pick and place machine and then um, I will start the job uh, since this board is very tiny so um, I can just align it to the corner small corner um, actually there is a, it's good to have a fixture uh, for for holding the PCB here but then I, I found a very good way or a very good and easy way to hold the PCB um, that is um, we have um, uh, what we call it Twiggy uh, it's basically the um, stuff to mount uh, the pictures or photos on the wall or whatever and it's it's a bit sticky and but then it doesn't really um, uh like hold it to your pcb when you get it off but when it's mounting on the um base you will see it's quite um quite let's say fixed and the position is also quite robust therefore um, we can use that and it's also because it's also soft when we mount one side of the component we can just flip it and then uh, put it still at the same place and then uh, mount the, the second side so as you can see I or, I've already applied the solder paste to the PCB board Okay, so now it has placed the uh, um, board. So I just uh, put it out and then I will take a look. Take a look here. Okay, so it looks like it's pretty okay. Um, so I will now get it to um, reflow, and then let's let's see how um, the result after reflow. So I have made the uh, uh, reflow for the front side, um, which looks good so now i need to um, also make the back side
so you can see here the the sort of place are um, place where on the pad so this is uh, good and then the next step is I can then take this uh, take this board onto the pick and place machine See the best side is also placed. Um, so I will um, um, I will get it to reflow um, for the back side again. Okay, so now I have mounted the pin. And so now I have connected the um, the board to the computer, and then I will download the. Um, hex file into the system so um, so this is the other through open source one so I modify a little bit to adapt to this board and then I it also includes the um, the NRF uh, Bluetooth stack then I will try to download it yeah so the download is uh, finished which it looks and then here you can see the, the device then I just need to connect the, the power. I just need to connect the power. Okay. So now you can see the device is actually up and running. So the mounting of the device is actually pretty good. It has also different modes. Yep. Okay, I wish you um, enjoyed the video, so if you um, like the video, please uh, subscribe and I will keep updating. Yeah, thanks for watching, so see you next time.